man, I can't believe I could say I'm the new radio voice of the Charlotte Hornets killer, but here we are. Life comes at you quick sometimes. Absolutely. And this man is, uh, I guess he's my new boss, so i got to be careful because normally I'm like kind of loose with him and things are more comfortable and relaxed. And so now i got to be a little bit little bit more upright as I welcome him. This in. isn't Hitman. <laughs> no, it is COO of the Charlotte Hornets, the great Pete Quelly. Hi, Pete. Chris, happy to be here. I told you, how is this not the truth, okay? I told you 30 minutes ago, you said, how you doing? I said, I'm a wreck, man. Have you ever known me to be a wreck? No. I'm nothing but the consummate professional. And I'm a wreck right now. But now, actually, like now I feel like the Band-Aid's been pulled off, and so everything's... Um, Everything. I think it's great. I think it, you know that's exactly the reason why we wanted you for this job. The passion, the emotion, the excitement, the attachment. I mean, you know, yep. Actually, I mean, candidly, this is something that I hire a lot of people in my role. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly what we look for. People who care, people who want to be with us. There's a lot of cynicism out there in the world. And it's clear from your reaction to this, everybody should know why you're the right person for this job. Just based on your reaction – and, you know, no pressure. You're only following a legend, yeah, a 30 year right? broadcasting legend in Steve Martin. So, no pressure at all. I mean, we're not expecting you to do a great job. Oh, but of course, man. we are. But, you know, this the passion for what you're doing comes through. It came through in the interview process. Yeah. And we're thrilled to welcome you to the Hornets as a new teammate. This is funny because I remember, so I, a little inside baseball, I, I interviewed with you and Fred, and we were on the phone. And I was actually nervous because. You know, I I wear my emotions on my sleeve, and so I thought, man, the fact that I got to talk to him on the phone, like I hope that comes through over the phone. If I were face to face with you, I I feel very confident that you guys would just, you know, you would really see how much I care. And I remember at the end, you guys were saying, you know, is there anything else you want to say or any questions? And I kept really trying, like, you know, I care, right? You like, you really know I like you guys a lot, right? So um, this is uh, this is this is special, and this is the so this is the fun part, right? Uh, this is where, okay, for fans who are saying, what's it gonna, what, what's this mean? I will never, ever, ever, ever be Steve. There will never, ever be another Steve. That's what's so great. He called all 28 years of Hornets basketball, 30 years in the NBA. Um, so nobody could ever replace Steve. He's got an incredible voice. He had a, a conversational way of calling a game that was second to none for a basketball broadcast. But what we're going to do moving forward is I'm going to be a little different. Yeah. We've got some awesome things that we're going to do that we're not even sure yet. We're you know When I get to... Day one in the office, that's 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 our first uh, job is to figure out content wise, what can we deliver to Hornets fans that maybe they feel like, you know, they've been missing that yeah. we, we could do from a talk space or whatever. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. And I think that's an important distinction. You're right. Nobody can replace Steve. The, but the business is, has evolved uh, over time and it is all about content. And I think this role is going to be a lot different. I mean, obviously, the play by play aspect of the job is still going to be critically important to us. And we're looking at kind of playing around with mm -hmm. what that looks like. But you're right. It's the rest of that part of the job, the development of the content, being involved with our social media team and our platforms there, looking at new and innovative ways to get our message out to Hornets fans and make you available. You know, that was what was attractive, um, Chris. There were a lot of things. It was an extensive search and Mike Stahl, he spearheaded for us and he brought a number of candidates to Fred and I to take a look at. But we wanted somebody who really understood the Hornets, understood the brand, grew up in the market that has this unbridled passion for the Hornets mm. that wants to deliver above and beyond what the job might typically be. And, and in the end, that's why we settled on you as our play by play voice. But you brought up a great point. There's a lot of things that we're looking at right now. We can't wait a lot to of introduce fun. you yet to our Hornets fans and give them more platforms that they can look at when they want information on the team. And I get your office, right? We established that. I get your office. Yeah. I don't remember that being part of the negotiation. <laughs> Cause I didn't have a lot of like, you know, there were, there was no negotiation. I just said, yes. Yeah, what I'm what I yes. meant to say is you have access to my office. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ac well, you've got one of the, you and Mitch and Fred have like the best view, right? You would say is that fair to it's say? It's an views? enviable location. You know, again, this morning I'm you know I'm in my office doing my work and trying not to be distracted. And of course, Nick's in there working out with Monk, so it's kind of hard not to be somewhat distracted by that. It's a great place to be, but it really keeps you on top of everything yeah. that's going on and the pulse of. What's happening with the organization, and I am serious, you do have access to the office at any time. And that, we want you to yep. be able to give our fans a behind-the-scenes look at everything that's going on with the Hornets. I mean, it's a really exciting. You, you couldn't be joining the team at a better time, right? We were just talking to Kilgore mm -hmm. about this. Great new GM and Mitch Kupchak, a guy with 10 rings. When people get to know James Borrego, they are going to love this guy. The passion he attacks his job with, everything he's doing right now from a player development standpoint already is amazing. Happens to be 
the 30th anniversary mm-hmm. this season. We happen to be hosting the All-Star Game this year. It's going to be a banner year for the Hornets and our fans, and I'm uh, really excited to bring you into the fold and create new platforms for them to explore and access all that's going to be going on with us this season. And we're going to, you know, we're, we're going to figure this, some of this stuff out as we go along. You know, the the radio broadcast, too. I think what's been so fun is, you know, when I started, um, you know, we did a 15-minute pregame show. Um, it was not even live. You know, it, we, we would record it, but it was recorded a little bit before game time. Now, um, you know, last year we did a full 30-minute live pregame show, home and away. We've got a postgame show, uh, which I think, you know, I, I think that's really right. When I was growing up, you know, we had over an hour-long pregame show for every single game. And, you know, who knows where, where things take us. But I, I think fans like me, um, you know, they love this team. They want more. And, well, and yeah, we're going to deliver that. There's an appetite for it. And the way people are consuming content now is constantly evolving and changing. And so this gives us an opportunity mm-hmm. to kind of bring somebody on board who's excited about the brand and wants to explore all those different opportunities. So yeah, it's great. And you know, I'd be remiss if we didn't take a second just to really thank the people here at FNZ. They've been incredible yep. to work with. We're thrilled about our, our relationship moving forward. I want to specifically point out Matt Hanlon, yeah, I agree. who was great to discussion and obviously Tony Giacomo, which between Cristaldi and I are probably the only people that could pronounce his name in Charlotte. Yes. <laughs> being the, the I Italian. respect you for not calling him the hitman. Okay. Just on well, a professional level, I respect you for using his Yeah, We'll name. go back to the hitman after this, after but this. those guys were great in this process. And I think they understand it's, you know, this, this is, this is really big. It's big for you. It's big for the organization. It's big for F and Z. And all this does is bring the partnership even closer than it was before. Yeah. And you know, it's so, a year ago, I signed a I signed a long term contract that's pretty rare in radio, a really long contract, which was their way of saying we value you, we we care a lot about you, and we think you're really talented, and we want you to be a part of our future moving forward. And so, you know, it would have been really easy for them a year later to to not you know not not be happy about that. But I Matt Hanlon has been and Tony and and Darren and everybody else. There's a laundry list of names. Um, that I'm sure we're going to go over at some point in time, but you know, specifically Matt, uh, I mean, he couldn't have been happier for me. Yeah. I, he, he, he couldn't have been happier and couldn't have been more accommodating to say, well, what do we, we'll, we'll figure out whatever we need to do to make this happen because here's the fun part. My voice is still going to be on this radio station. Mm-hmm. Every single game you'll hear our voice. You know, we, we, we installed a coaches sto- show this past season uh, that that stuff's not going away. And so we're going to, we're going to, you're stuck with me. Well, you know, we're excited. Another opportunity to engage your audience, yep. Chris. I mean, obviously, you built a great audience here at, at the fan, and I think um, bringing some of those people now and, and having them access you and information in a different way is what's going to be really exciting to us. I mean, it's a, just a really unique opportunity for the organization to tap into what you've already built here, and again, continue working closely with everyone here at FNZ. Well, Pete, um, boss man, that's my new boss. I have to get used <laughs> to some of this stuff. It is a, it's. It, thank you for coming in. Thank you for. Um, everything you've done for me over the years, but especially over the last few months. And uh, I can't wait to get to work, whatever that is. We're going to figure that out. We'll talk about that. Um, but yeah, I, I can't wait to get in the building and, and dive right in. And I will be setting up in your in your office on your couch and I will be, I'll just bring my laptop and we'll, I'll just get to work. You're okay. More, you're more than welcome. And you know, we do to officially welcome you to the team. Mike has brought a jersey with what? a familiar name on the back of it. What? We think it's important if you're going to be part of the team, you need to be able to suit up. Eat. Oh, man. And so here we look go. Look at that. This is for you. Pete. Oh, <laughs> look at that. How incredible is that? Oh, my gosh. Is it Now, this is a children's large, right? That's, <laughs> they make NBA jerseys in this size? You uh, you don't have to wear that to the office on day one. Oh, that's great. Uh, might be a nice touch. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's incredible. Kroger, hold that up. All right, hold on. We've got to do two things at once. We're doing the social media game and the radio game right there. All right, there you go. You get the picture of it? Turn Flip it around. around. Flip it around. Got to get the name on the back. That's the most important part. This makes part it official. Right there. there you go. Just to clear anything up, he is not our eleventh pick. Yes, there. No, <laughs> we're getting some landing on better than that. We're going to get someone that can contribute in a different oh, way man. to the organization. <laughs> oh gosh. But we're excited to have you. Well, I am excited to to join you guys, and um, I'm excited that I'm not leaving this radio station. So it's going to be a lot of fun.